For safety reasons, we've had the AIS off and we've also been sailing with no lights. Be the best sale I've ever had. One of the segments has detached, so I have to get hoisted up right now and we're going to try and fix it. The blue rope has a lot of tension on it. Close it very quickly. Okay, really quickly, we have the furling system that furls up the head sail. One of the segments has detached um, that, that is part of the uh, furling system. So I have to get hoisted up right now and we're going to try and fix it. I'm going to take this up. Uh, it's 5 o'clock in the evening, so we're going to try to do it quickly before the sun goes down. I do have my head torch. Worst comes to worst. We have heave two, so we have stalled the boat and we're going to try and repair this before nightfall. Thoughts? It's not ideal. It's not what I wanted right now. It's very good you saw it, but so we didn't sail like this during the night time. Um, let's just get this done now and um, yeah, keep sailing. Okay, hold it there. Blue rope has a lot of tension on it. Release the clutch and then close it very quickly. When you're ready. A little bit more. Yep, stop. Okay, baby, get me down. Yeah. Good morning. Right now it's about six o'clock and the sun has just come up. It's a beautiful morning. Really nothing beats waking up in the morning and it's just you in the ocean. We had some squalls come through. Um, the wind died a little bit, but then it came back in, so we had to change the head sail a bit. With the furling sister breaking yesterday, we actually furl in the head sail a little bit, as you can see right there. So if we furl it in a bit, so it won't get as much tension on it as if we had full head sail out. Um, at least that's what we're hoping anyway. It's the fourth time that we have fixed this problem now and it's getting pretty old. We did it in mainland Spain, I'm pretty sure. We did it in Portugal, in La Mora, in the marina. And we did it the second or third day of the Atlantic crossing and now again yesterday. The waves were bad yesterday and we heaved to, we were joking about it before, we don't want to heave to anywhere near the Venezuelan borders and then we had to, but it was, it was quite quick and quite painless. Um, 
Kieran can go up there, hoist him up, and he put some grub screws in. And yeah, hopefully we'll stick until we get to Carousel and yeah, we can have a proper look at it. But it's getting really old. Including a design for a 900 foot high guillotine to commemorate France's unrivaled contribution to the decapitation. So the Statue of Liberty is quite a piece of work, but because of all that ingenuity is underneath Liberty's gown, almost no one appreciates it. Eiffel was not a vain man, but in his next big project, he made sure no one would fail to appreciate his role. Isabel has been waiting for dolphins for this whole sale. She's been asking me, Kieran, where are the dolphins? Where are the dolphins? Where are the dolphins? Six months since we last saw dolphins, so Isabel's pretty happy right now. Sunset dolphins, baby! Good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, I feel actually a little bit guilty. This is my first vlog of day number two. Two? Day number three. Um, no, we've had a brilliant day. We've had about 20 knots from behind us all day and I have actually mastered the wing on wing action this afternoon for the first time ever. I have done it before but it's always been a bit of a dicey kind of thing where one sail could go one way or the other sail could go the other. But anyway, I have a preventer on the main sail and I have the head sail just free. We don't actually have a spinnaker pole for the head sail, but it's actually going quite well, or well, better than I thought it would. Um, so I'll show you that right now. So here we have our main sail and it's held out by this preventer here. And we have our head sail that's kind of running free. Every now it does it does that every now and again but most of the time it's holding that shape there our batteries have been 100 percent we've been killing it with the uh power thing haven't we we've oh. seen dolphins and we've seen <laughs> these bells we've seen dolphins and what else has happened today oh we saw more dolphins oh and we saw wait oh no we saw another dolphin and we saw dolphins and dolphins, and dolphins. <laughs> pretty happy chappy aren't you yeah. Uh, no, today's been great. I had a midday sleep. Um, we both had to shower. Mm. Our first shower on the passage and we're both Don't feeling stop. very fresh, aren't we? <laughs> so. It's good that the camera doesn't pick up scent. Let me just put it like that. But yeah, now the sun's just going down. It is 5.40. Mm. We have 130 miles to go. Around about tomorrow evening as the sun has gone down we're going to arrive. So we're going to have to make a call whether we heave to for the night and stay out on the ocean or we actually pull in and we have to traverse through this canal, uh, not canal, but like waterway, which I've never been in. And it's pretty, and I don't really want to go in there in the dark. Dinner time, is it ready? Mm, What's oh, the dinner? Almost. I just made a very simple um, potatoes in the oven, potato, veggies, chickpea, some salsa to mix in there. Saturday um, dinner at May. Saturday, 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 Saturday. And there you have it, folks. Nothing special. Just some food on the water. We're going to belly. See this? I don't do a magic trick. Yeah? Food into belly in three seconds. <laughs> Alright, enjoy, hon. Alright, go ahead, Captain.
Oh, hey there. Ah, uh, really good. Today is day number four. Uh, we are just ending the afternoon, coming in past Bon Air. We have 46 miles, 46 nautical miles to our destination in Carousel. And we just turned the AIS on, is that correct? And we just turned the AIS on. For safety reasons, we've had the AIS off and we've also been sailing with no lights. Dangerous, I know, but with the piracy threat from off the Venezuelan coast, we decided it's the safest option and just keep a watch for other boats. Mm. So that's what we've been doing. And just now we've turned the AIS back on and we can see everything and everybody. Uh, we feel nice and relaxed and calm being in the waters of Bonaire and soon to be Carousel. Mm. But last night we didn't feel so comfortable, did we? <laughs> last we had night. A little scare. Last night a a tanker came from the Venezuelan coastline towards us and we were on the same path basically heading for each other and I decided to heave to and let him go past and it was my opinion, I was a bit tired but at the time it was my opinion that he slowed down or maybe stopped which kind of freaked us out a little bit so we waited and waited and waited and he eventually did push on away from us but uh, it kind of yeah just left a little just made us a little bit scared yeah. um, the, the tiredness and the darkness and the coastline it really affects us and mm. kind of gets to us after a little bit mm. but after almost 450 miles and four days at sea we are gonna pull in tonight I think we found an anchorage that should be easy to get into during the night time, so we think we're going to do that. If I don't feel comfortable with going in there during the night time, we may just hold off the coast a little bit and heave to. We're not sure 100% what we're going to do. We're just going to see how we feel at the time. really comfortable being at sea. I think this has been the easiest sail I've ever had. The easiest long overnight sail I've ever had. I agree. Which feels really good to say that because you've got a monster of a task ahead of us. Yeah. I'm not even tired, you know? Like I'm not. Like we we when we get tired when we, we do the three hour shifts and if we're tired, if we didn't get the right sleep during the night time, we could just get extra sleep during the daytime. It's going to be the best sale I've ever had. 